Um, I just quickly wanted to show you a way to stretch your canvas. Um, this is a picture that I took at Kelly Ryden's workshop about three years ago. Um, I highly recommend her workshops if you're wanting to do newborn posing. She is amazing. Um, but I took this picture there and I love it. The only thing I regret is I didn't take this in a vertical. Um, not that I needed it, but I just wish I had a vertical shot of it as well. Um, so I wanted to show you quickly how you can make this a vertical shot. And this technique is great, especially if you're, you've taken pictures at a session and maybe the baby was just super fussy and you weren't able to get as many pictures as you wanted. And so you kind of need a couple extra filler pictures for the gallery just to kind of give it some extra bulk because... And like, you know, in my guides, we want to sell those digital files and we want to sell every single picture every single time. So um, this will show you how to add a couple extra filler pictures if you need them. So what we're going to do first, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to zoom out so I can see the whole thing. Okay, I always crop my photos to a 5 by 7 so I already know this one is proportioned to a 5 by 7 so I need to stretch the canvas. So I'm going to go image, size or canvas size, sorry, and I'm going to increase the height by two inches. Now, I think I'm going to end up having to do it more than that. Oops, sorry, let's go back. Okay, we're going to stretch the canvas size, like I showed you before, the height, two inches, and I want it all to go upward because I don't want um, the picture centered. I want to follow the one-thirds rule, so I want the extra weight to go up. So I'm going to point it up. So there we go. Okay, so now I got all this extra um, canvas up here that I need to fill. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little tool right here, and it's already selected, and I'm going to grab this area just above baby, and I'm going to hit edit transform scale and I am just gonna stretch my canvas and hit enter and that's it now all I have to do is crop and I'm gonna crop to a five by seven there we go and now I have a vertical picture of the one that I had before and I can go add this to the gallery as a nice little filler um, so that the mom has options. And this would be a great one to do with an announcement or um, a card or if you wanted to post something on Facebook with like an inspirational quote. You've got all this negative space up here to um, add in any of the words that you want without having to layer it on top of baby. So this is just a great little tip and trick for you guys. Uh, be sure to check out the thesuccessfulphotographershop.com. Um, I've got an awesome newborn guide that just went up that shows you how I went from zero to 88 newborn clients in one year. So be sure to check it out. Um, and as always, leave me some feedback. I love to hear back from you guys. and Let me know what you need help with and I'd be happy to help you. Hope you guys are having a great day. Have a good weekend. Bye.